Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have yet another Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul. This is going to show everything that I found the other day. I sh went into the store, I shopped for a couple hours, I left to go get a snack, and then I did go back for another couple hours. So in total I shopped around four hours. I was able to find somewhere around 40 items. It's either right at 40 or just over. And for everything that you will see in this thrift haul, I did pay a total of $70. So my average cost of goods came out to right around $1.75 per item, which is an excellent cost of goods. I'm so excited to show you guys what I was able to find. The bins actually has new hours now, and so they open at 6 a.m. and they close at 10 p.m. And so I have been la staying later, I've been leaving around 9 or 9.30 at night, and it has been great. It's so much quieter, a lot of people go home, and everything really just kind of gets more mellow and uh, also you know everything is less picked over because there are less people to go through it and so yeah when they roll out new bins I feel like I can find so much more in the later hours because less people are there so that's been super exciting it is obviously not as convenient for me because I am getting home at like 10 p.m. and then I have to eat dinner and then so yeah, it is definitely an adjustment, but I would say that it is well worth it. So I'm gonna start off with three pieces that I found for myself. These Bermuda length denim shorts with frayed edges and distressing, a J. Crew essential turtleneck thin cream long sleeve top, closet staple, and this was newer. It had no flaws and it was my size, size small from fall of 2020. And lastly, this green little romper that I thought was so cute. I already tried it on and it, it is very flattering. It has a belt attached, high-waisted shorts, and then ruffles at the sleeves. The brand is Do Plus B. Okay, so this point on, everything will be resold. So Starting off with probably my most exciting find, a pair of Prada flats. These are authentic. They are gorgeous. There is the Prada tag there. Genuine leather, woven upper. They're like an orange color with a gold weaved through. Definitely in decent condition. This is a leather bottom sole and so it does show wear pretty easily. Uh, they're size 37, and I I do need to do some research on these. I'm not sure what I will list them for, but I'm sure over $100, possibly close to $200 with how good a condition they're in. Great size, great style, definitely not outdated or anything like that. Next, we have a pair of sandals. These are by Free People, and this leather is manufactured to have this distressed look to them. So they really don't have too much wear. That bottom sole tells me that they were not worn much. They have a suede foot bed. They're a navy blue color, size 39. More shoes. This was a super cool find. I had never heard of this brand, but I could just tell that they were high quality with the genuine leather materials and just all of the fun details. I will write the name of this brand on the screen because I'm not entirely sure how to read this. They say handmade in Greece. So that is another obvious indication of them being high quality. They have all this embroidery and pom-poms and little beads. This rope is genuine leather and there are all kinds of fun accents just distributed throughout these sandals and everything nothing's missing everything was in good shape really cool little bits and baubles here and then fringe so yeah I was super excited about these here's a little peace sign and a tooth <laughs> it's 
kind of hard to show everything moves around but yeah you have a little peace sign a little tooth there so yeah um i again i do need to do some more research these did retail for hundreds and i will probably list mine maybe like 75 to 100 dollars they are a size 38 and here's the bottom sole. Mainly, I will list them a little bit lower, mainly because we are going out of summertime. If I had found those back in like May or June, I probably would list them 125-ish. Okay, next up we have a pair of Jeffrey Campbell heel sandals, strappy ankle strap with tassels block heel and back, really nice gray color, size nine. At my Goodwill outlet, they do rubber band the shoes together, which is really nice for, you know, keeping the mate to the shoe next to them. However, it can sometimes damage the shoes just a little bit, kind of distort their shape, but they usually bounce back fine. And honestly, I would rather not find a whole bunch of singles than deal with a little bit of misshaping. These are by Steve Madden. They are genuine leather reptile heeled sandals. This is a genuine wood heel and back. Really nice uh, construction to these quality. They are a size. They're the Lindsay sandal in a size eight and a half leather upper made in Brazil. So yeah, these are, they have some weight to them and they feel really high quality. Alrighty, getting into clothing now. We have a very large item. This is a coat by the brand Calvin Klein. And this is gorgeous. It is new. I am very confident of this just because the way that it feels, it feels brand new. This fabric does show wear pretty easily. It gets kind of matting and pilling and there's absolutely none of that. The back bottom hem is still sewn shut and this brand tag is still sewn onto the wrist there. So yeah, I'm pretty confident this has never been worn. It's a gorgeous coat. These are faux leather accents going down in front of the zipper as well as on the pockets. It has a, is that like a funnel? Yeah, funnel neck. This is the back, little nameplate there in back. And then like I said, this bottom hem is sewn shut. Really nice texture to this, very cozy. And this was also a great size. It is a size petite, extra, extra large. So, yeah, I will, now that we are winding down the summertime, I will for sure be getting all of my heavier coats and jackets listed. It's fully lined, it has pockets inside, and it is 40% wool. So with the condition and quality on that, I will probably list it 75 to hundred dollars easily. Okay, next up we have a couple kids pieces which I will just run through really quickly. This is by the brand Hannah Anderson. I just thought it was adorable. I do get this brand sometimes because it does retail for quite a bit. This skirt probably retailed for 40 to $60, but it does have to have a lot going for it with the floral embroidery, the corduroy texture, the little bow, had to grab that. Another kid's piece, I'm not sure how you say this, brand but it was new at tags it was made in germany it's a wool blend and it's just a really high quality kids sweater so yeah i had to grab this it kind of has like a nordic vibe to it and lastly for kids a little pair of 100 percent linen pants and this brand does retail for a lot. Padded shoe, size five, five years, 100% linen, little pull-on pants. They were dry cleaned, which if someone is dry cleaning their kids' clothes, um, I take that 
to mean that they were probably pretty expensive originally. Okay, getting into some bras now. I found two of the exact same bra, which is super exciting because I'll only have to take pictures of one of them. And I can list, I can just, when I list this, I can say I have a quantity of two and not have to spend the time taking pictures of the other one. So this is Victoria Sport bra in a size 38 double D, really nice. It's an animal print bra with a mesh overlay. And this one, same thing. They both look brand new. So yeah, and they're both in the same size. Last bra is actually a bralette and it's by Free People. I have a couple of these to list actually. This one is in this really nice rust color and it is a size medium. Okay, some scarves and accessories. This one is from Urban Outfitters. It's a very lightweight, has a fringe trim, and then this matte print throughout with an ombre colorway. I'm not sure what this, it looks like a map of Europe, maybe. I can't really make out what the, uh, what it's saying right now, but I'm pretty sure that's a map of Europe. It looks and feels brand new. Next is this little velvet shawl. This was in excellent condition, and I thought I could put a lot of keywords into this, like witchy, boho, grunge, goth, Halloween, fall, that kind of thing. I will just drape this over my mannequin and it will be very quick to take pictures, which we love. Rayon and nylon, no brand name. Last scarf is this plaid little number. It's a men's scarf by Ralph Lauren. I got this because, you know, this is a very popular brand and, it, and because it was 80% lamb's wool with no flaws. I also thought it was a nice neutral colorway. You could match quite a bit with this. I actually might see if my brother would like this. He's a professor, so I feel like that looks kind of professory. Uh, then we have Do Everything in Love. This brand is sometimes sold at Free People. It's like a lower to mid-tier boutique kind of brand that, and Free People has carried a couple of their items before. This is a vest, a knit vest with a fringe trim. So again, this is something else that I will put on my mannequin, swivel it around, take quick pictures, and I can add beachy, boho, festival, coastal grandma, that kind of thing. It's one size acrylic and nylon blend. Alrighty, getting into just regular old clothing now. We first off have Sweaty Betty, which is a for sure bolo brand. It, they make athletic and athleisure pieces that retail and resell for quite a bit. This is a tie-dye long line pullover sweatshirt with a drop shoulder, high-low hemline. Really nice. This is the Sweaty Betty logo, so it is something to look out for. And this whole loungewear athleisure kind of style has always sold so well for me. 51% cotton, 49% modal. So that's excellent. Modal is a really soft, high quality fabric. Next we have Free People, a gorgeous teal dress. Longer length, midi length with this really pretty cutout and beading detail just below the bust. So pretty. And this is in a size four. This is a little bit of an older tag from Free People, but with how intricate this piece is and the condition, quality, that kind of thing, I'm just not going to leave it. It's fully lined. It zips on the side. Yes. And it does not have pockets. That's okay. Really pretty. Oh, I found a little pajama set. I have a couple of these myself in my personal closet and they're my favorite pajamas because they are the softest material. I don't know what, yeah, what are they made of? Polyester and spandex, but they're so soft and comfy and lightweight. These are by Lucky Brand and so yeah, this is the top. 
little tank top. These, this looked brand new. So had to grab it. I'll just flat lay this and list it for probably like $20, $25. Little matching shorts, both in a size medium with this purple paisley print. Okay, next we have Umji, one of my favorite bread and butter brands. And this is extra exciting because it's in a size extra large. Larger sizes definitely perform a little bit better. This is an ombre tunic blouse top with lace inserts and lace sleeves. A little bit of a bell sleeve there. Keyhole opening in back. Gorgeous. This would be so cute with just some dark denim and flats. It is lined. Really pretty. Oh, this was also so pretty. It's by the brand Joie, which I am pretty selective with, but this blouse in particular is kind of just breathtaking, honestly. So it's 100% silk. It's so feminine with the ruffle neckline. And then this is the sleeve. The sleeve has some shirring to it which again is just really feminine and such a nice little thoughtful detail. The print, it's a novelty print, so you do have birds throughout, which also kind of increases the marketability, I would say. People love their novelty prints. So yeah, this is just gorgeous, and it's in excellent condition, size extra small. I wonder if... Yeah, 100% silk. It doesn't have the year, but I could see this being a little bit of a newer top. Even though I don't think that is their newer tag, but maybe they are just putting that older tag on some item still, because that looks very current to me. Okay, moving on, we have a closet staple, very bread and butter, Madewell top. I want to say this is the central shirt but I could be wrong on that. It's a black button down top with a loose boxy fit. I've sold this exact shirt so many times and it always sells really well for like 25 to 32 ish. I would say people do know that specific style from Madewell and they do search it out because it's really flattering and easy to wear. This is Andre by unit, which is kind of a, a Johnny was dupe, I would say. They make a lot of heavily embroidered items that look very similar to Johnny was. The quality is not the same, I would say, but it's relatively decent and it's usually very, very pretty. So this is a long line gold embroidered cardigan piece in a size large. I love the color on this. Let me get a close up of this embroidery here. It's open front, high-low hem, really pretty, little to no signs of wear. So yeah, we love that. Did I, let me get one more close-up. I feel like I didn't really show the embroidery that well. So yeah, it's floral embroidery. Okay, moving on, I actually own this top. You may or may not have already seen me wearing this in a thrift haul. It's by Lauren, Ralph Lauren. It's a size petite, medium, 100% cotton. I really like this boho southwestern print to it and also the chambray details. So if you have the neckline unbuttoned just a little bit, you see the pop of chambray, which is really cute to match to jeans in my opinion. So yeah, if I don't keep this, mine does have a couple small holes in front at the bottom towards the bottom hem. So I might replace it with this one because I do really like the top. But if not, I'll go ahead and sell that probably 28 to 30 ish. Okay, moving on, we have more MG in a size large. Really pretty blue green button down shirt dress with frayed edges and a ruffle at the sleeve. Shirt dresses are a category of item that sells very, very well for me. This has pockets, which is great. And it also is, I wanna say, a linen blend, 55% linen. So I will add in breathable, 
breezy, beachy, boho. Okay, now we have more joie. And this is, actually no, this is still, their newer tag is not cursive. Their newer tag is lowercase letters kind of spaced out. But I, again, was not going to leave this item. It's a 100% silk blazer. It has a one button closure and a floral print. This is so pretty. It's a navy background. So this could really dress up a pair of dark denim for the office or whatever. It's a size large, fully lined. The only flaw was that the sleeve is missing a button. However, there is still an extra button or no, actually maybe there's not. So I'll have to find a button, but it's totally fine. It's just a standard brown button. So yeah, I'll have to get that replaced and then get that listed because that is so pretty. Okay, next up we have J. Crew. This is a white, pretty basic blouse top, but I did like this floral eyelet detail on the sleeves. I thought that was really pretty. Keyhole opening and back, size medium. Feels like 100% cotton. Uh, yeah, 100% cotton. And this is from spring of 2020. So I'll expect probably 25, 28 is from that. Another really pretty feminine blouse here. This one is from Anthropology. It is from their tiny sub brand, which is one of my favorites just because they make a lot of delicate, pretty, feminine prints and styles. Is this? Oh yeah, size small. And this blouse is no exception. It's a mixed media top, meaning that this gray material is a really soft cotton blend. It almost feels like modal. And then yeah, 100% rayon. And then the contrast is a polyester. So interesting cut at the sleeves and then floral print and back. So yeah, I love that. I think it's really pretty. I grabbed this because I am confident that this will sell very quickly after being listed just based on the style, also the size, color, and condition. Kinsey jeans in a size large. It is a brown jacket, button down jacket with distressed edges and tortoiseshell buttons. So pretty much every aspect of this is trendy and marketable and desirable. Very comfy piece to just throw on. And honestly, the quality feels pretty good even though it's just Kinsey jeans. I think this brand is sold at Macy's. This probably retailed for like 70, 70 ish dollars would be my guess. It's 100% cotton. So I'll probably list this at like 35. Okay, more bread and butter. This is just altered state, size large. But I did want to get it because I thought this emerald green was really pretty. It's very flattering on a lot of people. It has an interesting tiered ruffle hemline. It's in a slub cotton and it was in great shape. Also, like I said, size large. Next we have Free People, just a little floral printed blouse top, very flouncy and loose, kind of baby doll cut to it, 100% cotton, size extra small. Okay, then I threw these two Lucky Brand tops into my cart, mainly because they are lightweight and because I do plan to flat lay them very quickly list them as a bundle so I will list them together mainly because they aren't super substantial on their own but I do think that they will sell quickly so I like to do this kind of thing with stuff that I know will sell quickly they're both a size small this one is a floral printed blouse top with a button down back and a rounded bottom hem let me get a close-up of this print because I just think it's so pretty and I think the material was good on this one I want to say it was a linen blend yeah 55% linen and then this one is also a size small also has that boho print to it paisley these look unworn if these had had any kind of wear I would have left them but I'm not gonna leave basically brand new lucky brand tops at the bins 
that are in the same size that I can easily bundle up. This one is uh, Micromodal and Supima Cotton. So high quality materials, both very soft and nice. This was an excellent find. I'm surprised no one picked this up. This is Lily Pulitzer in a size medium. And you know, Lily Pulitzer is known for very vibrant prints, but I am still confident that this all black blouse will sell very well, mainly because the style is so pretty. It has this dramatic puff sleeve. It's all lace, so the, she the sleeves are sheer, the bodice is lined, very dramatic, and keyhole opening in back. This also is a little bit of a newer piece. It is, the bodice is lined. It's nylon cotton, and this is from August 2021. I did look up comps on this. I'm expecting it to sell for, I would say 50 to $65. Okay, moving on, Chico's. You guys know I love my Chico's. I pick up pretty much everything I find in this brand just because the demand for it is so high. Uh, a lot of people know this brand, they love it, they know the quality is good, and they search for it on the secondhand market to try to save a little bit of money. So these are in a size 1.5R, which is equivalent to a US size 10 regular. When you find a Chico's piece and you see that there is the US equivalent size on the tag, that is an indication that is that it is a newer piece, because they did start doing that more recently. So I'm trying to exclusively source the newer pieces. These are a brown pull-on, very stretchy, comfy trouser pant with buttons at the bottom hem. I really like the color on these and with them being a size 10, that's great. I think these will go probably 30 to 35-ish. Okay, we have a Bolo brand here. I have found this a couple times actually. Uh, Emerson Fry, and this is a dress from the India collection by Emerson Fry, size extra small. This is a gorgeous button down maxi dress. The only issue with this is that it does have some fading to it, and the drawstring at the waist is not there anymore. It was there when I found it. But someone had cut the drawstring and so it was so short that it kept getting lost in the waistband. So I just pulled it out. It was almost too short to even tie. So it really wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So yeah, I just took it out. I'm going to sell it as is. I think it will probably still sell for around, I would say 30 to $35 because it did retail for a couple hundred. The uh, It is a designer, the print's really pretty. And I can add a ton of keywords into that. Okay, next up, we have Show Me Your Moo Moo. I don't find this brand too often. I usually get it when I find it. This is a black v-neck chenille sweater. Very relaxed, cozy, oversized fit. I know my lighting is not the best in this video. I'm sorry, guys. It's nighttime, and so I don't have the light from my window coming in, just my ring light. But yeah, so chenille material, very cozy, very oversized. Did I say that was a size small? Okay, last three items. Sundance, a brand I love to find and sell. Size extra small, really cute uh, t-shirt with a scoop neck and floral crochet lace inserts panels, I guess you'd say. This had no signs of wear, really pretty peach color. It's like a slub cotton, it feels like. I don't know, this could also be, yeah, 100% cotton. Next is Maeve by Anthropology, size small. Really pretty uh, popover blouse top in this feminine cut with the ruffles that go all the way down the sleeves and across the chest, or not across the chest, just to the underarms with a pinstripe print to it. This is very lightweight and gauzy, so a great 
summertime blouse. This would be good transitional weather for transitional weather. It's 100% cotton. It looks and feels brand new. And our very last piece is yet another Lucky Brand top in a size large. I just grabbed this because it was boho. It, it was in excellent condition. And these do sell reliably for me around $20 to $25. So yeah, that is absolutely everything for this thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.